boys, let's play a game. Let's play a freaking game. So I never really got a chance to do any pre 2021 predictions. Per, or or like, I, I mean, I didn't really get to do any 2020 award show, yeah. but I did want to make prediction for um, what the gold is going to look like. And I, I want to also say the women's straw weight division, I was looking at it because I was going through looking at who, uh, or who is going to be a new champion in 2021? Like what the entire champion as list is going to look like. And I was going through it and the women's straw weight division is fire because you have Mackenzie Dern, Tisha Torres. And then you obviously have Zhang Wei Li as the champion. And then you have, did I say Rose Namajunas? No, and Jan Jonan, whole. Oh. And <laughs> some of the most exciting women's, but in Amanda Hivas, some of the most stuff in, exciting women's fighters are in that strawweight division it's going to be crazy but i want to go through really quickly and say who i think is going what the um championship picture is going to look like at the end of um 2021 so to start off i will start off with women's i do i i want to say the, we're doing all this right now yeah it's just gonna be really fast i think that rose <laughs> nami could end up being the strawweight champion and then i also think that Jessica Andrade could maybe give Valentina Shevchenko a run for her money in a flat and women's flyweight bout. Um, so that's that. And <laughs> if you get a chance to watch Tisha Torres fight every single time, watch Tisha Torres fight, watch the Anjo Nam fight, watch Mackenzie Dern fight and watch like this whole Verna Janda Roba, Mackenzie Dern. It's wild. There's so, so many, just everyone, except everyone in the Angela freaking women's, Hill or no, so many people in the women's <laughs> strawweight division. Just watch them. That's the only name straight up. Name. Straight up watch them. Um, so I think that Rose Namunis could be women's straw weight champ uh by the end of the year, maybe. Um, I also believe that Jessica Andrade, what she did to Caitlin Jujagian is forever ingrained in my mind. Uh, but it's gonna be really tough to beat the bullet. And then nobody's gonna beat Amanda Nunes. Um, there's zero people on earth in that's a woman that could maybe beat Amanda Nunes. And Valentina Shevchenko is probably the best shot, but I still I don't even think that's possible. And then in terms of men's flyweight, my boy Brandon Moreno, I think that he could get Davis and Figueredo in a rematch there. But even their sleepers, Askar Askarov, he's a freaking wrestler. He'll grind you out. Um, freaking wrestler, guys. He'll grind you out. Dagestani wrestler. He'll, <laughs> he's a beast. Um, and then Piotr Jan, I firmly believe that uh, as much as I don't want to say it, I think that TJ Dillashaw could get back to that 135 pound strap. And then I also believe Aljamain Sterling will be in that picture too, because I think that Aljamain Sterling could be Piotr Jan. Um, and then who else is freaking content there at 135? Oh, Frankie Adler looked really good. I forgot about him. Um, and obviously Corey Sanhagen, but it might be a little bit before Corey gets a title shot because Aljo went through him like a hot knife through butter. And then uh, I believe Max blessed hallway. And this, ev- this performance tonight even confirms mm-hmm. my prediction, theory. even more my theory that he will be the 145 pound King. He currently is the 145 pound King. It's just that the number one contender, Alexander Volkanovsky has the belt right now. That's how I see it. No offense, Alexander. <laughs> you lost your last fight. I'm going to say that until I die, dude. You lost your last fight, man. Dude, Alexander Volkanovsky of, of Volkanovsky of Brian Ortega. Mm. I wonder who's going to win that fight. I mean, <laughs> I, I think Alexander Volkanovsky is going to get through Brian Ortega easily. Also, I saw swinging back to the 135 pound division. If Sean O'Malley and Nathaniel Wood fight, that is going to be a technical striking like Matt, like that's going to be wild. And then mm. I also saw that Dan Ige might be fighting Ryan Hall. Oh baby. Ryan Hall. Oh, baby. He's a dangerous man. And Dan, Dan Ige can put your lights out in the blink of an eye. So that's going to be crazy. There's so many good fights that are coming up. Um, but if Sean O'Malley and Nathaniel would fight, yes, sir. I'll be watching my up. And then uh, Habib. I think that Conor McGregor, Another dick writer here. Uh, I love Conor McGregor with all my entire heart because he's a savage. But I think that Conor is going to be the 155 pound champion. You, uh, you just said I love Conor with all my heart, but I think Conor's going to be the. Yeah, no, I don't know why I said that. 
Oh, I because I because I'm else. no, I, I love I love him so much. But he's gonna be. And the 100, you think he's gonna be the? He's one. gonna be 155 gotcha. pound champion. And then, um, I have a little bit of a three way tie here coming at welterweight. I think that potentially Hamza Chamaya <laughs> could be the welterweight champion of the world at 170 by the end of the year. But also Colby KS Covington could be. And then if Leon Edwards fights enough, he definitely could be. So yeah, I think there's going to be a little tournament that. going down there. And True. even Steven Thompson looked good against Jeff Neal, but don't even count out Jeff Neal because Jeff Neal is going <laughs> to so be coming back. Everybody. And Vicente Luque is another one to look out for. <laughs> and Dan Hardy post fight was, I think he mentioned that Carlos Condit fighting Vicente Luque. Carlos, you're a savage, but Vicente Luque throws smoke mm-hmm. i don't know if that is the best opportunity i don't think that's the best opportunity for you to do middleweight division marvin vittori will have a strap on we'll have a we'll have a strap on we'll have that <laughs> st- <laughs> we'll have a, that gold strap oh, by the end of the year i'll have a strap on <laughs> right on there <laughs> <laughs> oh boy you'll have the belt yes you'll have the be- strap the belt he's gonna have a strap it's on all the belt yeah he's gonna have that um middle weight <laughs> strap by the end of the year uh i think here in pro good could be light um heavyweight champ but i also believe that i, I i've thought long and hard about this stayed up many hours a night thinking about this jan blahovic he didn't though no i didn't I'm just thinking about it right now but I think that Adesanya has a shot against Blahovich. I used to not think he would have a chance just because Blahovich was sawed through Dominic Reyes and Dominic Reyes almost beat the pound, probably the best fighter of all time. So then John Jones. So I think, I don't know. John Israel's Jones. striking is just phenomenal. I think that he can maybe touch up Jan, but Jan, you can take a shot. So, but. Besides that, it could either be Israel or Hiri. And then uh, for heavyweight, I believe John Jones will be the heavyweight champion by the end of 2021. Okay. And I think that maybe Francis Ngannou will get a little taste. Maybe a little taste of the glory. A little taste of the glory. <laughs> but um, yeah, dude, that wraps up this this thing. I was all over the place today. But it's okay because it's fun. All over the place. But thank you, my brothers, my fellow brothers and sisters. And sisters. My fellow brothers and sisters. Hey, sisters. Oh, like, does he, he, he like trademark that or something? Yeah, I think he does. And that sucks. I'm I think sorry. it is trademarked, actually. Dang. Well, James, I'm 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 a fan. I'm a fan. But okay. Is that bad? Well, I don't know, man. All right. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next week. See you. We'll give you predictions for that Wednesday stuff against uh, I don't Neil Magny and I don't think we will, though. Why? Monday. I don't have school. Um, I have school Monday. Oh, wait. Actually, Monday is Martin Luther King Day, but I still have an assignment due. Yeah, but we'll just do it that day. We'll, we'll, have, oh, we'll, we'll be, think we'll be at another episode on, on uh, Monday. I don't know All about right. me, though. Bye, you guys. Love you guys. Oh, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>